distracted talent gets smoked by people who are disciplined. Okay. Hey guys, what's up? It's Andy. In this video, I want to talk to you about how to track your business, how to track your income. Okay, so number one right now, I want you to write down your goal. How much money do you want to make? How much money do you want to make? Go ahead, write it down. Get a pen, get a piece of paper. Write down how much money do you want to make a month? Now, when you write down how much money you want to make a month, underneath that, I want you to look at a calendar. And I want you to go ahead and circle how many days you're going to work in this month. And that's going to give you working days. Now, I want you to understand this. It doesn't matter how many days are in a month. What matters is how many days are you going to work in that month? Because if you take the amount of money you want to make, you're going to divide it by the amount of days that you're going to work. And that's going to show you how much money that you're going to need to make per day. Does that make sense? A lot of people are like 31 day month. They're like, oh man, I got 31 days. No, you don't. If you're going to take off five days, you got 26 days. If you're going to take off 10 days, you're going to take off two days a week, you're going to have 21 days, right? So like you need to back in to how many days you're going to work and then I need you to set your goal. By the way, people don't always get their goals. Write this down. People don't always get their goals, but they'll always get their standards. Whatever your standard is, you're going to get. Now, this is really important. Do the math. This video is going to be about doing the math right here, okay? Okay, so you got to do the math. Doing the math is everything. David Goggins broke the pull-up record of like 4,000 X amount of pull-ups within a 24-hour period, okay? Now, think about it right now. If I was like, hey, the record is 4,000 pull-ups. You're like, oh my God, 4,000 pull-ups, there's no way. Well, just do the math, okay? Think about it. There's 24 hours in a day, right? There's 60 minutes in an hour. And per minute, how many pull-ups would he have to do in that minute for the entire day and that was how he broke down how he needed to hit it which i think was like one or two pull-ups a minute right hey guys what's going on it's andy a lot of you leave comments telling me that you need help do me a favor i'm gonna tell you the best way to get a hold of me shoot me a text message right now 918-210-0254 918-210-0254 i'll help you with whatever you need i got your back for life let's get back to the video and that was how he broke the 4,000. So I want you to think about this. When he broke the pull-up record, what did he do? He just did the math. So really, how can we get to where we can have you crushing what you're making now and actually hit your goals, like hit your standard that you want? Write down on that piece of paper, how much do you wanna make? I'm gonna show you how to get it, okay? So real quick, how to track your income and your business. We're gonna do the math. Number one, we gotta set a goal. I say I wanna make 100 grand in a month. Just give you an example. I'm like, hey man, I wanna make 100,000. Okay, cool. So how many days are you gonna work in a month? Let's say I'm gonna work 26. Say so there's 31 days in a month, I'm gonna take off Sunday, so I'm gonna work 26, okay? With that being said, I'm gonna take, and I'm gonna see that 3846, 3846, that's how much money that I need to make per day for 26 days to make a hundred thousand dollars does that make sense three thousand eight hundred and forty six dollars per day working 26 days taking off my sundays Woo! i'm gonna hit me 100 racks okay now watch this if notice if i look up and it's the 11th of the month right here it's the 11th day of the month. I'm sorry, 11th working day, okay? So I'm sitting here, and by the way, I got 26 days. I'm marking off each day as I go through. I'm on the 11th working day, and I look up. I got 20 grand. Most people just turn a blind eye to it, and they fold the deaf ears like they don't hear it, they don't see it, and they're like, I'm gonna pull this out. Listen to me, self-correct now. The math, what you're doing now, isn't gonna equate and add up to 100 grand. You can't delusionally think you're gonna pull it out. No, you're not. You have to look at the math. Understand, write this down. Most people, most people, which I don't like to be called most people, but most people underestimate the amount of effort that it takes to hit large goals like this. They underestimate it. They say, I wanna make, make 20 grand, I wanna make 50 grand, I wanna make 100 grand. Dude, do you understand the amount of effort that it is going to take and the discipline on a daily measurement? Whatever isn't tracked and measured, you can't hit. So if at $20,000, I'm on 11 days in, I'm gonna take 20,000 on the 11th day, and it shows me that I'm averaging 18, 18 a day. Now listen to me, what was the goal? The goal was to track 3846, I'm at 1818. Dude, I'm $2,000 off a day. So look, 
If I go at my tracking, I'm tracking $47,272 for the month. And a lot of people say, oh man, I'm gonna pull it out. No, you're not. I need you to stop right now, realize there's 60 minutes in an hour, how you work 60 minutes in that hour for the total amount of hours that you're working per day in what you're doing in that day in the effort that you're giving in every minute, not in every hour, not in a day, but in every single minute. There's something in my company I call a power hour, okay? I'll say, guys, power hour. You know what that means? For the next hour, we are gonna come up with a big number, one that scares you, one that's gonna be really hard to hit, and I'm gonna need you to give everything you got, and you're gonna hit it. And the second you hit it, you're gonna go in the middle of the room, you're gonna ring that bell. And by the way, if that minute, if that hour goes off and you don't hit it, 100 push-ups right now in the room. So this is between you and you, one power hour a day, and I want them to prove to them what they're worth, and I want them to stretch themselves. And guess what? They always, within that hour, overachieve and hit a bigger number than they thought they could ever hit. You know why? Because they really gave it all they got. So my question is to you, is could you really give it that power hour every hour all day long? Yeah, yeah you could. The question is, do you want it bad enough? Do you want that life that you're after bad enough to give that amount every hour? And by the way, listen to me, there's something called thresholds. Once you learn how to break into new thresholds and you learn how to give more, what you're gonna learn to do is to give more while you're there instead of giving less. You get rid of all the laziness and you learn that in the math while you're at work to give an amount inside of you that you never thought was possible. So, are you short? How short are you coming up on your money? How short are you coming up on your standards, right? The business goal, the income goal that you set for yourself, where are you falling short? Well, here's where you're falling short. Every single day, track your income. Every day. Every day, track your results. Every day, track your income. Because data don't lie. The data always tells you the truth. The data tells you whether you're on track and you really want it, or the data tells you if you're off track and you need to fix something, or you need to want it more, or you need to create a different strategy, okay? So understand this, if you look up and it's the 11th day and you got 20 grand, you're tracking 1,800, that's 47,000, that's not 100 grand. What do we do? Well, we understand that we got 26 days in a month that we're gonna work. We are on the 11th day. So what do we have? We have 15 days left, right? If we're already 11 days in, plus 15 takes us to 26, right? You're not even halfway through the month right now. Could you go and pull it out and still hit 100 grand? Yes, but if you've been tracking right now two grand, 18, 18, and your goal is to hit 3,800, right? What do you have to do? Number one, you have to start hitting five grand days now. That's the only way you're gonna pull out 100 grand because you gotta offset all the days that you missed, but you got what ahead of you? You got 15 power days. Power hour, every hour, for the next 15 days, you'll pull out 100 grand. But every single day, do the math. And I want you to look at yourself like a thermos, a thermostat. Do I need to crank up the heat, right? Okay, or am I good? Is the thermostat good? If you're not tracking this 3838 that you said you were gonna hit, this 3800, and you're less, or whatever your goal is, if I'm on track to hit that 100 grand and that's what I want, guess what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna crank the heat up and I'm gonna go to a hot 110. I'm gonna bring the heat like never before, and that's the problem is that people get behind and then at the end they have anxiety and they gotta rush for 15 days. Give everything you got all day long. Get rid of all distractions. Remember, distracted talent, distracted talent gets smoked by people who are disciplined, okay? So I love you, do the math, get a multiplication calculator, it'll show you how to make more money in your business, follow it daily, and that way your income's on track, and you'll always get your standard and your goals. Hey guys, I just wanna tell you, you're the true one percenters, you made it till the end of the video, do me a favor, share it with a friend that wants to go to another level, make sure you like the video, comment below so I know who you are, set your notifications, and then subscribe to the channel. We got daily sales training videos dropping, I'll see you soon.